Photoshop CC 2019 and its workspace and the basics of that. So we'll start off first of all by talking about the top. This, as you probably know, is the menu bar. It has drop-down menus which enable you to use commands and access more tools and filters. Of course, this is where you go to file and open and close and save as, as you all know. Plus, of course, this is where you go where you wish to save your finished piece of work. So that's the first one. Next, just below that, we have what's called the options bar. This displays options for the selected tools on the left, which we'll talk about in a moment. You can change any selected tools attributes, i.e. if you were using the brush tool, let's get it, if you were using the brush tool, you could change its opacity of the brush. You can change the tip size, its flow, and the way it blends the colours and tones and other layers using blend modes. So all these options here in the options bar become specific for that particular tool. Okay. Next you have the document window. That's what this is, the document window, which is precisely uh, the name or the actual document you're editing on, like I have just here. And uh, back over to the left, we have what you should all know now is the tools panel. Here we have around 66 different tool options for us to work with. I'll be going through these later, but I will point out that each one has some fantastic short little videos to remind you what each one does, so never forget those. They're very, very handy. Now we'll go over to the right-hand side, and we have fly out, a fly-out panel here. I'll just clip on there, expand. This one shows me my history panel, and as the name suggests, this shows you the history of the document during editing and allowing you to go back if you need to. So you can go straight back to a point where you were editing earlier. I'll just minimize that for, for now. Now, one of the most important ones, our layers panel. This is very important for you all. As you know, Photoshop layers are like sheets of stacked acetate, plastic, as you were. You can see through transparent areas of a layer to the layers below. Move a layer to the position to position the content on the layer. You can also change the opacity of the layer to make content partially transparent. These layers are very important to get used to and using them. And if in doubt, it is always best to create a new one rather than continuously editing other ones. And I also recommend everybody names their layer so they know exactly which layer does what. Yeah? And don't forget, of course, you can move your layer below or above an item to make other parts visible, as in this case with our crazy Simpson character. And now the other thing I'd love to show you all is the very top. Back to the menu bar, you have the window here, which allows us to completely change this workspace if we wanted to. So let's just say I was just editing photographs, I will go to workspace and photography and it will change the layout of this which is far more specific for photography with all these items on the right hand side to help me with my edit. If you prefer you can just stay with essentials. And in essentials over here on the far right it has these fantastic helpful short videos giving you insights into further learning within Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, layers are imperative to get the right position and create a new one and change the name.